I'm Lucy Sullivan, bringing you a one minute webinar. Just about everything in the working world has changed since 2020. Organizations have new needs and so do leaders and individuals at every level in every role. It's easy to feel overwhelmed by how quickly things have evolved. At MRG, we thought it might be helpful to ground ourselves with some facts. Looking at the data, what exactly has changed about leadership? How is it different today than it was pre-pandemic? Maria Brown, MRG's head of research, conducted a study and the findings might surprise you. The first, when comparing two matched groups of leaders, so one from just before the pandemic and the other from today, leaders today are perceived as more effective overall. And observers rate them as more effective at inclusive leadership and at working with diverse people. This may be reflective of many things about the way work has changed. Watch the full webinar for some more thoughts on this. The next research finding was about leadership behavior. Specifically, how were the most effective leaders behaving pre-pandemic compared to the most effective leaders now? When we looked at differentiations between those two groups, here's what we found. Effective leadership pre-pandemic was characterized by being more assertive, more results-oriented. And highly effective leadership post-pandemic, it looks more cooperative and more connected. What does this mean for coaching? As Trisha Nadif explains in the webinar, you may want to help people put more emphasis on the four differentiating behaviors we found. We call them the do more for. One, showing more deference to authority and organizational loyalty. Two, leading more cooperatively, putting the team first. Three, acting more consensual, getting other people's input and valuing it. And four, being strategic and thinking long-term. Now, every leader is different. And to apply this research to coaching, you'll want to use a 360 assessment to make sure you're tailoring your developmental plan to the individual's specific needs. And remember, leadership development is about turning a dial, not flipping a switch. So focus on making small shifts to behaviors, not turning them on or off completely. Now, there's a lot of nuance to these findings, along with five key suggestions for transforming organizations to better tackle today's challenges. For all of that and more, watch the full webinar on demand now.